Hey guys, Kill Yang here, LA-based music producer. Okay, so I've been in the market for a new DAC, and I'm looking at the Dragonfly series from AudioQuest, and I decided to buy all three and maybe even make a YouTube review out of it, which is what I ended up doing. So I bought <clears throat> the Dragonfly Black, we have the Dragonfly Red, and the Dragonfly Cobalt. And we'll be talking about all three in this YouTube review, and specifically focusing on the red versus the cobalt. And there is something that in other reviews that I've seen, nobody talks about this, and I think it really matters. Which one of these two is actually better for you depending on who you are? Allow me to explain. Stick around. Okay, so let's start the review by talking about the Dragonfly Black. So here is the Dragonfly Black, okay? And I'm going to save you a whole bunch of time and give you my honest opinion. Uh, so I checked it out. I plug it in to this Apple adapter, right? Like this. Goes a lightning port to USB adapter. And I then plug it into my phone. And I plug in my Shure SC846. I also listened to it in the car. I also tried it on my um, standard Audio-Technica. These are the M50X Audio-Technicas. Love these headphones for the accuracy of the sound, by the way. And the Dragonfly Series Black is not worth the money. I was not impressed. 100 bucks, honestly not impressed. Like, you, you spend 100 bucks on this, you might as well spend $9 on the Apple DAC. Get the Apple DAC for nine bucks because the difference between these two is maybe 10%, maybe 15% amplification, and the sound quality, no difference whatsoever in the sound quality. Just no extra added warmth, at least not that I could hear it. I didn't, I didn't see a difference. So in my opinion, save yourself the 100 bucks and skip this one. It's not worth it. Okay, so now let's talk about the red and the cobalt. So the difference between these two here, right, Got the red and the cobalt. And um, I really like both of these, by the way. Really like both of them almost equally. But there is something about the cobalt that I personally don't like. And it's because it actually matters what type of music you listen to. And nobody talks about this. I, I was really surprised. I saw all these YouTube reviews on the red versus the cobalt and how the cobalt is better because it has a revised chip in there and it has the slow roll off filter, which is supposed to smooth the sound and give you better stage presence and uh, better sound staging. That's true, the imaging is a bit better. But really, to me, the, the, the Cobalt actually attenuates the sound a lot in terms of the, the oomph, depending on what list, type of music you listen to. You see, if you're listening to like, this song. Versus if you're listening to like something like this. You know, it's a big difference. And you know, the, the cobalt really kills it when it comes to natural music, natural sound of music, live music, concert music, uh, uh, anything that's recorded live, uh, ja jazz, band music, the Cobalt is fantastic, okay? But when it comes to electronic, EDM, dance, house, that type of hard music where you want the hard hitting kicks, the Red is actually much better. I'm telling you, the Red is much better. So in conclusion, for hundred bucks, the Dragonfly Black DAC is not worth it. It is a very marginal improvement from running your headphones stock. However, the Dragonfly Red for 200 bucks and the Cobalt for 300 bucks are both excellent DACs that bring a massive difference in the volume output of the sound. They will both give you a thicker, fuller, amplified sound with noticeably stronger bass, brighter and clearer mids and highs with a lot more detail in the highs. Something to note here, 
The clarity of the mids and highs to me sounded the same between the red and the cobalt. By the way, the cobalt is the only one that comes with the USB-C to USB adapter, which only works on Android phones. So if you're an Apple fanboy like myself, you will need to spend a cool 35 bucks for an Apple Lightning to USB adapter. There is also a $20 one, which you can uh, just use the Lightning to USB adapter, but I recommend this one so you can have pass through power so you can juice up your phone while listening to music. At the end of the day, the Dragonfly Red is not only the best value DAC, but it's the winner for me because I love dance music and that's where the red really shines. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you saw, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace.